The street protests that began a month ago here burst out into new areas of the city today, targeting ministries, television stations, and here, the police headquarters. Their goal this time, to force the government to resign. As so often in Thailand's recent past, the police tried to avoid confrontation. Once again, the mood in Thailand is heated and unpredictable. Elsewhere, the crowds converged on various ministries, aiming to disrupt the government's work as much as possible. This was the foreign ministry earlier in the day. Later, it was stormed and occupied. The first department to fall into the demonstrators' hands was this one, the finance ministry, where they argue the government misuses the country's budget. Here, the police were conspicuous by their absence, and the mood was almost festive. But the hostility to tax in Shinawat was just as intense as elsewhere. They have to get out, said this man of the government. They're traitors who do nothing for the little people. No acknowledgement here of the genuine popularity Mr. Tax and his party enjoy in much of the rest of the country. The man now leading this movement is a former opposition MP, a traditional power broker for the Democrats and no stranger to corruption scandals himself. He's now abandoned Parliament and is calling for what sounds like an all-out insurrection. Rise up and seize all government places in a civilized way so that the taxing regime can't work here anymore. So not for the first time we're seeing government departments occupied and the very business of government paralyzed. There is no end to this long-running political crisis because so many people here have lost faith in their institutions and in their system of democracy. How this will end is anybody's guess. But it is hard to see it ending well. Jonathan Head, BBC News, Bangkok.